Hey guys, how's it going? It is Alexander Williamson here again with the secret history living in your aquarium. So today we are going to be looking at microscopic stuff again. So, uh, you know, we've looked at infusoria and we've looked at drops of water. Today we're going to look at some cuttings of some plants and see what we see. Hopefully, and I can tell already just by this one slide here, that we're going to be able to see uh, algae. That's the uh, square block type uh, cells you see here. The green, um, the green blocks, those are actually, each one is a cell and it has a cell wall, which makes it um, closer to like a plant cell. And uh, it also has uh, chlorophyll in it, the green. So plant cells and algae cells look like that. Now the algae cells tend to usually look like little bars. Uh, and that's what we're seeing there is fil filamentous hair algae. Uh, and that's one single strand, the thinnest strand you can see. Now also what's going on here is you can see we've got some little, uh, little critters eating. And if they were dyed, you'd see them better uh, color-wise. But these are felina, and they are a type of freshwater plankton. And this is another kind of freshwater plankton right here. This one is almost like a pitcher plant. Uh, it actually just holds on to things, and it has uh, a little kind of nipple on the bottom of it, which it has uh, little flagellas or arms, which it moves with. And it is not so much uh, reactive towards light or anything, but more touch and uh, water pressure. And you can see it is in uh, digesting uh, little particles that it has eaten. And it has a foot and a mouth, which is uh, attached to that filament of algae there. Now, uh, I don't know which Latin name uh, species this is, but it's one of those little pitcher zooplanktons, whereas the other one is a type of uh, plankton, zooplankton specifically, and freshwater specifically, known as felina, uh, kind of similar to a Daphnia, but much, much smaller. So let's see what else we can see. And what we're looking at here is, uh, we're gonna be looking at plant cells, like I said, mostly. So. Here, you can see we've got a plant cell, and what you're looking at is moss. So this is what moss looks like under 40 times magnification, and we can get it up to 100 times magnification uh, swiftly, and there's some other little critter here. So let's see what that is. Let's see if we can barely move this without losing it. But there's another little critter so you can see that any sort of surface area is going to be a hotbed of activity for your aquarium and full of really awesome stuff. Uh, and so here we have some single cell organism. I can't tell quite what it is. But this is uh, food for things like other zooplankton that are larger, little crustaceans and things. This actually looks like it may be a tardigrade uh, type critter. Um, it has a little hog nose on its face, but it's spinning around oddly and it has uh, some legs, like flagella legs. Uh, it's hard to tell without it being dyed, but we've already seen three, yeah, it is. So this is a little tardigrade uh, or related species and these things can survive literally up in space. It is bonkers. But they are gonna, they just kind of move around and crawl around and you can see they kind of look like a little pig. So sometimes they're called water bears or water pigs, uh, but they can survive in the vacuum of space. They're a very, very hardy creature. So as we continue along, you're gonna see more plant matter. So this is more moss. And here you can see again, we've got some other little uh, single cell organism here. Um, usually you can make out a nucleus to them and uh, organelles. If we had some dye, we'd probably be able to tell a little bit more, but this looks like another pitcher plant type uh, layout where it has a foot that is attached to the surface and then it has 
a little mouth actually that you can kind of make out uh, at the end of its uh, the oval shape that it can open and it has these little hairs that will trigger it to go off and it also has two little light sensing eyes so it's slightly different than the other one but somewhat similar so let's continue on and look at some actual plants uh, and let's see here so if we scroll around there's just so much life so here we have some blackbeard algae growing whoops so easy to move some blackbeard algae growing and this is actually uh, just what it looks like up close so instead of those square algae shapes it's uh, it's more of these little uh, filaments and fuzz and what's going on here is there's actually, this is an Aufuchs layer, uh, which I have a whole video on Aufuchs, which is biofilm layers of multiple species. And what you're seeing here is there's some green algae in here, some uh, f uh, filamentous hair algae, and then there's also um, some sort of dead zooplankton uh, at the at the on the left of the frame it's it's exoskeleton but what you're also seeing up here maybe some little mites or something but we're seeing uh along with all this uh mold so we're seeing fungi growing in on the uh on the end of this moss so that's what you're seeing that's kind of that off gray color whereas the cells themselves in the in the uh, moss leaf if you look at it it's a leaf up close um, can kind of be seen too see here's more this is actually cyanobacteria when it's blue green like that uh, and that little fuzz but here you can make out the algae again filamentous algae this is uh, a third as wide as a human hair and uh, you can make out each cell. And uh, plants have cell walls, algae has cell walls, whereas uh, we have cell membranes on human or animal cells. Now this could be some sort of little parasite or egg of something, I don't know, on, this, on the leaf of this moss. But if you know moss, uh, which I'm sure all of you do, it is very teeny leaves so we'll take a look at it out from under the microscope at the end to look at scale but i just wanted to show you guys that first we're going to keep looking here is another uh strand this is a strand here of another species of algae and we're going to make this a fairly quick video but i wanted to show you this is what you see the rigid outline that is what it looks like without the when just the cell wall is there so cell wall not cell membrane but when it's just there and the chlorophyll has leaked out or been eaten by one of these little critters uh, you can see it as a clear box and you can also see the very teeny single cell organisms which we cannot unfortunately on this setup uh, zoom into uh, but there are some very teeny they just look like little dots uh, moving around which you know are probably protist or something along those lines um, They're smaller just to give you a sense they would be much smaller than a human uh, sperm cell, which is one of the smaller cells uh, Humans have let's see here It's kind of interesting that for humans the sperm cell or gamete is the smallest uh, or one of the smallest and then the egg is one of the largest so kind of an interesting little tidbit there uh here we have uh a little bit leftover food so this is probably cells of fish flake or some sort of crustacean and uh that is what we're looking at there you can see more cell walls of algae that's either broken down or died uh here we have uh some red algae pretty cool huh you can see that bright purple color, um, really pretty. Um, but I think this is so neat to see. There we see the, again, we see the little teeny uh, critters, whatever they are. Uh, they're definitely not, they're definitely on the microscopic le level rather than on the uh, 
macroscopic, able to see with the eyes. So let's move over. We're going to look at one, uh, two more specimens of plants, and then that will be the end of this video. But here is a normal uh, leaf on a plant. And you can see here, usually plant cells have square uh, cells, or if the cells themselves aren't square, they have these sections of leaves that are rectangular or square. And if you were to dye them, they would each have a little dot in the center. And I think we can actually make that dot out on some of these. Uh, that is the cell nucleus right there. So that's where all the DNA is in those little brown dots. And all these cells are linked together to make up a leaf. So if we zoom out, let's get back into this level. This is a little thread of leaf uh, from a blade of grass. That's, it's a blade of grass. Here it breaks up. It's been breaking down and you're going to find that that's where a lot of the little life forms are, is helping break down and unravel this thread. And here again, we've got some empty uh, pieces of cell walls. Also, there's probably some dead the skeletons of some sort of little microscopic critters, those little circles you can see, um, likely left over from that. Now, if we move over again, we'll be looking at a piece of uh, Kabamba furcata, uh, and a piece of purple kabamba, and as you can see, they have those same rectangular cells. All plants will, but these ones overlap kind of like chain mail, and the pigment comes in between the chlorophyll. So I'm not positive if those, if the, these each cell still has chlorophyll or if some are just simply pigment cells. Um, that is a fact that I cannot tell you for sure. I just don't know. Uh, so the last piece we were going to look at is this beautiful piece of uh, Nymphaea micrantha. It's a water lily, and it has iridophores that make it shimmer like gasoline. And what those are, if we can look at them up closely, here you can see the green vascular system of the leaf, which is how water moves through osmosis and through capillary pressure along these little straws, basically, these veins. But you can see these little bubbles. Uh, if On the left there, there's one. Um, there are these strange little bubbles, and within them, there's actually, let me see if I can get one dead center. Uh, there's actually a void which has cytoplasm in it, and uh, cytoplasm in plants is what allows the cell to be held together. It's kind of like a, a generic fluid that all living things have in them, uh, in their cells, and uh, plants and animals as well uh, have it, but it just holds the cell firm. It's kind of like a, a clear jello type thing, and then all the organs uh, of the cell, or organelles as they're known, are within that. So here we can see light is refracting off of uh, these shapes here, these little bubbles, and what you're seeing under those, if we zoom in even more, is there is, in the cytoplasm, uh, guanine and guarine forms into crystals, and you get iridophores. So that's why you see these kind of green uh, they're green and purple, but they're actually uh, a 3D cell that we're looking at. And so the green stuff is what's going to be doing all the, the work with the chlorophyll and uh, the, the playing with the light. But alongside those are these sparkly, you can kind of see them even shimmering, uh, these white spots near the dark purple, which are actual crystals formed within the plant and those happen in other things like guppies as well so i hope you guys enjoy this little video if you're liking the microscope series and uh this little plant series 
uh, you can uh, let me know in the comments. If you'd like to look at something in uh, particular under the microscope, please let me know. And I'm hoping to get some, uh, some experts. Here's that moss again. Uh, experts that can help us identify all of these little freshwater species because between all the tanks there are quite a few. Um, here it looks like we've got something uh, larger, some sort of little worm or something going on and then we also have some movement going on too uh, on the slide. Sometimes it's hard to tell what exactly is going on uh, in the slide but uh, that is the tour. So we've seen a few species of uh, zooplankton. We've seen phytoplankton, which are the little green dots. We've seen mold and the mold spores. So if we zoom in here, this is that mold again. And the dark spots, the round one, the round dark spots here are spores. Uh, the little grayish spots are cells that are spores, which are like seeds for fungi. And then the, the little tangle of cells, when it's purple, is, uh, here's probably more spores again, right here. Uh, it comes from a tangle of cells that grow within the dying leaf, or live leaf, depending on the species of fungi, and it actually puts in a root system of its own that we call mycelium and that grows in these fibrous tangles uh, and these fibrous little tangles here uh, get their nutrients and then the uh, fungi is similar to a mushroom in that it has a fruiting body and that's what opens up and then the spores come out and uh, the process begins again once the spores get out and uh, escape and cause havoc. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, you can find more information about this stuff and more videos on some of my playlists lately, as well as on, um, as well as on uh, my uh, Facebook group. We've got people sharing what they're up to and all over the channel. Here's more fuzzy hair algae. And uh, as we do this, let's carefully take a look at the actual size of this stuff that we're looking at um, it's quite incredible how small we're talking here so the fil filamentous algae if we set this down real quick set this down we're looking at single strands of it as thin as that uh, hair that's there um, you can't even really make out there's there's some strands of algae there's a tangle of them and then this is moss so uh compared to you know my thumb it's a piece of moss and these were those giant leaves under the microscope so all right if you like it like it give it a thumbs up here's that mold uh and some of the blackbeard algae at the ends of the dead pieces of plant uh here's the nympha micrantha and uh there's the kabamba right there but yeah if you like it comment leave a like share and uh, if you'd like to see more let me know and lastly if you'd like to support this and do more fun funky stuff with high-tech things looking at the nano world the micro world and science history in general uh, you can always support the channel through patreon uh, or super chats or by uh, sharing and liking things uh, and subscribing by hitting the bell. So I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Take care. This is the microscopic world of plants. Bye-bye.